Next up, please. Next up, please. Method number two. Variable separable method. So I said, um, on that is please. Here's what to note. I said some differential equation involves a mixture of two variables. Okay. For such problems, the variables must first be separated by collecting like terms with their integral variables. So when it comes to variable separable or variable separation, the difference between this method number two and the first one is that for the first one, all the um, questions or all the terms there were only in terms of x. It was a single variable, just x and a constant term. But when it comes to this one here, you know it's variable separable. Well, you know it's not direct integration because you see both a mixture of what there, x and y. Yes. So if they give you a question like this, right? You look at it, it's just x and constant um, um, direct integration. If you see x and y, you know it's not direct integration. It's what there? It could be variable separable. It could be. But how do you know? You now go ahead to look for a way to separate them. Move all the terms that have y to dy and place them on the left hand side of the equation. Move all the x terms and x together with the x and move it to the right hand side of the equation. All right, so look up, look up. Let's get this done. Method two, variable separable method. Um, for this method here, basically, you'll be giving your dy dx function and it will be equal to terms in terms of both x and y. All right. So whenever you're seeing dy by dx being equal to terms in form of or in terms of x and y, uh, you know that it's not the usual direct integration. Your mind shifts to what there? Variable separation. It still might not be variable separation but then the first approach would be i now know that it's not direct integration so let me try variable separation in variable separation your task is simple move all the terms containing y to the y on the left hand side of the equation move all the terms containing x to the x on the right hand side of the equation then integrate simultaneously and that's about it right let's come to this man here how do you solve this first things first move the x right hand side of the equation i have this as dy is equal to exponential x exponential y the x goes here it becomes dot dx obviously or you can see Divide by 1, divide by 1, say cross multiply, 1 times the y is this, this times this is this. All right, we've moved the y to left hand side, the x to right hand side. My next task will now be let's see how we can move all the terms containing y to dy. To do that, I'll have to divide both sides by exponential y. So divide by exponential y. It should be your note to divide by exponential y. What you have there is dy all over exponential y it's equal to exponential x dot exponential y dot dx all over exponential y. This will cancel this. So you have that dy all over exponential y it's equal to exponential x dot dx. At this point, you now integrate both sides. So integrating, integrating both sides. What do I have there? I have um, the integral of dy all over exponential y. It's equal to the integral of exponential x dot dx. How do you integrate exponential terms? What do you do? Hmm? come back come back to base come back to base i said if you have exponential x squared if y is equal to this what's dy dx dy dx differentiate this in differentiating exponential terms i thought this 
it's online exponential shortcut we said leave this man focus on the path the part there is x squared differentiate x squared what do you get there 2x that 2x attaches back to the question you have exponential x squared you have this let's have to work on this the question now will now be if i have an exponential term how do i integrate that's the question huh? Oh, I should close today. If you want to go there, I should close today. No close today. If you go that method, that route, we will not close today. I have given these shortcuts online. Differentiation of exponential shortcuts. Differentiate the power attached to the question. Integration of exponential shortcuts. Differentiate the power divided by your answer. That's it. Second one, differentiate the power. Take it as a denominator, that's it. So that's it. In this case here, you're having 2x exponential x squared although well it works here anyways it works here but it doesn't mean it always work but if you check this out i said take your part here what's the part there x squared if i should echo x squared what do you get there 2x all right so integration of exponential shortcut is to pick up the power differentiate it take it as what there you don't need to that's all What's that? Uh, this thing is shaky, but that's how we do it anyways. To prove that it's correct, to prove that it's correct, all this nice, I taught you, and I expected that you should have known them till now. Right? This is why since I knew my you won. Watch this. If y is equal to exponential x, if I differentiate this, what's the y the x? If I differentiate, if I differentiate the exponential x, I will get exponential x how do you integrate exponential shortcut integration is simply differentiate the power and divide that as a denominator that's all so if i'm asked to integrate exponential x what do i do very simple this is equal to exponential x differentiate x what do you get there one all over one so this over one gives you up there itself it's correct that's a shortcut learn and don't forget by the time I come to year three now, I'll still be talking this thing again. As if no, this, I've said this thing before in your, in your year one, second semester. I have. All right, come to this. Let's use this here. Please come to this. So, how does it pull up here? You can now see the answer already. The only problem now is that this one is a denominator. So, you express this in index form first. So this now becomes the integral of this becomes one all over exponential y the y is equal to integral of um, exponential x the x this in index one becomes integral of exponential what there minus y the y equal to integral of what there exponential x the x how do you solve this i said differentiate the part now does that say it's y? No, no, no. Just consider that as x. If I differentiate minus x, what do you get there? Minus 1. So, if I, usually if I differentiate um, minus x, it will be with respect to dx. But now it's y. With respect, so, it's the same thing literally. So, I'm saying this becomes exponential minus y all over. The shortcut is to assume this was x. If I differentiate minus x, I'll have minus 1. So, minus one you have this is equal to differentiate exponential x what do you get there x sorry sorry integrate exponential x what do you get there exponential x exponential x you add your c to it please watch this very well please 
if I integrate exponential x, right? But if you want to use the same method of saying differentiate the power, if I differentiate x, you have what there? One. So say divide by one. It's the same thing. Same thing. So please let me know any confusion here. Please, how do I get here? The shortcut differentiate minus y. Just take it as minus x. It's give you minus one. And that's what you have here. Work on this here. What do you get here? This now becomes, let's see how we solve this. Let's see how we solve this. This now becomes minus exponential minus y is equal to exponential x plus c. In our getting, we want to get the value of y, not um, minus exponential y per se. So what do you do here? Obviously, my first as would be, this is minus here. Multiply this by minus, what do you have here? Um, exponential minus y is equal to what there? Minus exponential x minus c. Please, use minus to multiply this. You have this. Yes, please. What? The way you, the way you, the way you integrated, this dy means I am integrating with respect to dy. That's it. When, when you integrated exponential x, this dx means integrate exponential x with respect to x. And that's why the x disappeared here. In this case, the same thing here. Integrate this with respect to y. That's what it means. In essence, if I do this, integral of this minus y dx. We can't do this. Why? You're telling me to integrate this man here with respect to x. But there's no x here. So this would not work. So the only reason why this man is going through is because I'm integrating y with respect to y. That's why he has an answer. Here too, I'm integrating x with respect to x. That's why you have an answer. So that's the function of this one there. All right? How do we get y from here? What do we do? How do we get y? What do we do? This is now in this standard video. To solve this, what you use? Just take clean on both sides. Let me let me follow that. There's something I want to do, but don't worry, it's not necessary. Let me just follow your method there. Or should I just do it my own way instead? All right. So take clean of both sides. I have the lean, lean of exponential minus y is equal to lean of minus exponential x minus c. How do you solve this question? What happens here? No, that's not, no, no, that's not the first thing that happens. What's the first thing that happens here? This is basic English and logarithm. What happens here? The power comes down. That's the first thing that happens. Right, the power comes down. So it becomes what there? Minus y lean exponential. Please. If I take lean of something, lean of the exponential to something, the power comes down. That's basic uh stuff there. It's equal to that becomes lean of minus exponential x minus c. Here there's no power here. So the power is not coming down. There's no power there. Okay. Now Lean exponential is equal to 1. True or false? Lean exponential is equal to 1. True or false? Lean exponential is equal to 1. True or false? How? How? It's natural log. So, so what? So what? How do you explain it's a natural log? It's a primary five students. <laughs> you just cram things in the natural law, you cancel that. How? How? So, lean is natural law. The law is what now? Supernatural law. <laughs> don't know. So, if you just, you just cram, 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 go pass exam. How is lean E equal to 1? That's the question. Okay, so look up. You're correct. 
but then you have to understand how this thing works. What we say lean? What does lean mean? If I say log 10, if you have the white cast, you check it up. If I say log 10, log 10 is equal to the same thing as log 10 to be 10. So a normal log 10, it means log 10 to be 10. And we know that log of a to be a is equal to what there? Eh? One. This is one of the laws of logarithm. When you say lean, punch this. If you punch lean three with your calculator, this will give you the same value as equal to log three to base e. Punch this to you have the same answer. If you use the white cast you, there's a space where you can put something here. Put this as e. Punch lean three, punch this, you have the exact same answer. And this is this answer here is not the same thing as log three. Confirm that. Punch lane three, get your answer. Then punch lane three to base E. Put that E there. You have the same answer here. Confirm. Okay. Punch lane three. Punch lane three. What's the value? Very nice. To punch this one first, check. There's a, there's a, there's a button that's like this. Why you say log box and box? Check. This one is there. Can you find it? Yes. Now punch this. In this space, go and put three. Use your cursor. Bring this down. Put E here. Punch equal to what you have. Please, is that confirmed? Yes. It's confirmed. Come on. So look up. Look up. Look up. So I'm saying this. I am saying that lean. I'm saying that lean is simply equal to what there? Log base E. So why do we have that lean E is equal to 1? Why? Simple. Because lean simply means log to base E. Lean, log to base E of E. Look at this. Equal to 1. Please, this explains why lean of exponential is 1. Here's the, here's the reason why. All right. So lean of exponential simply means log exponential to base exponential and that's equal to one that's simple i'm i'm, I'm thinking of anybody here all right so this will give you one but lean of exponential it's equal to one after the y so this becomes minus y into what there one is equal to lean of minus exponential x minus c okay this gives you that minus y is equal to what lean yeah lean of what there minus exponential x minus c we need the value of y not minus y so how do we solve this this becomes what there y equal to move minus over here minus lean exponential this minus c so we have this can we simplify this can we simplify this bring no no bring this here minus one okay don't, don't stress don't stress don't stress leave it there don't leave it there don't stress but look at this now when you see look at this look at what i did here when I took lean of something, the part came down. In essence, whenever you have something here attached to lean of something, this thing can go as a part. Look at it here. If I have minus, minus is same as minus one. This minus one can come here like this. Look at this. And then, but don't worry, don't, worry, don't stress. At this juncture, you've tried. So we can give you there. So that's it. But please go and learn how to simplify to the most possible forms. All right? All right, let's look at the next question, please. Get more by joining our Differential Equations channel membership or visit www.joniemanual.com slash courses and get the Differential Equations Made Easy course. Both links in video description.